the heart being perished by Francis Frost. The farm lay on the top of the hill, and while the grass meadows were level around the house and the barn, those fields which had to be plowed slanted downhill toward hollows that rose immediately into other and lower hills. His father said that if you went up and down the lower hills long enough, you'd get to the big river valley and to the Manchester. It start the higher hills rose in successive ridge above the farm and it turned into mountain that loomed deep blue against the sunrise and grew softly and warmly massive in the summer dust. When he was driving the cows to pasture or crossing the yard to the barn with a pail of garbage to be dumped into the pig pen, he liked to look at the mountains when his eyes rest on them. It was as if he had been away and had suddenly come home. It was like having a drink of spring water in the middle of a hot hay field. He was a good-looking boy, thin flesh and brown as at Indian, for he wore no shirt from spring until autumn, liking the feeling of sun and wind and rain in, on his skin. His mother died when he was ten. His elder brothers, all but Jim, went away and got farm of their own in New York, New York State. And when he was 18, Jim went too. The year he was 20, his father died of pneumonia, leaving him the farm, which was heavily mortgaged. He had had some suckling when the roots were passable, but he had never been beyond the village, which lay in a hollow five miles beyond the farm. His nearest neighbor, was Klein Hart, who lived two miles down the road. The day after his father's funeral, Klein drove up and brought him some donuts and pies that his wife had made. 